My relationship with Perry's father is great. I can call him about any and everything. I could talk to him like a father, really. And I never had that. Not ever having a father in my life. I mean, I don't know too many men admit this, but I cried many nights. I really did. Um, because. My relationship with her father is a beautiful thing. It's, it's, it's really, it's awesome, man. Uh, Paris and I, are, we're doing excellent. That's beautiful to hear, because women will leave you <laughs> when you start doing that. I've heard it. <laughs> I, I, I've heard it. How you and Joseph been doing lately? Oh, we've been doing really good. I mean, we we, we, we went through some things, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to teach Joseph to be more patient with me. Oh, honey. <laughs> be patient. Well, you know, it only takes about 30 years, and they'll finally realize. <laughs> 30 years? I don't think we need well, that's that. how long we've been doing it. I have layers, and plus also, I'm a Gemini, very free spirit. I got two different ways about me. So ways? <laughs> People. <laughs> no, Here's Denise and his parents. When Denise comes out, sometimes we break up. <laughs> and that's just truth. And then, then when Paris decided to resurface, we're back together again. To me, he seems very mature, and he cares about my baby. So I, I did want to talk to you, though. OK. Um, I want to do you the respects to ask you formally for your daughter's hand in marriage. Well, honey, we're excited oh, yes, to move on to the this. next phase in this dating process. I've never been on this side yes. of it. Yeah, we found a few, okay. but this is going to be date number one. OK. His name is Mark. Um, he's been divorced for about two years. And that two-year mark, I don't know about your business, but that's a sweet spot it for is us. Sweet. They're ready. They had enough out there to get back mm -hmm. in the streets and see what it's like. And then that two-year come around, and they're like over it. All right, I like it. He's cute. Isn't he's, he? He has an amazing smile. Girl, yeah. let me yeah. tell you, when you see that smile, I was flipping my hair. Like, <laughs> what? I was like, oh, oh, it's a fiche. Yes. <laughs> She's a matchmaker, and sometimes you get in your own way, and you need someone with an objective opinion. Yeah, and I've been single as a matchmaker, so I could relate to, you know, not wanting to dip into your own stash of singles, and, you know, people are paying you to find them love, so you can't be dating your inventory. I'm nervous, y'all. Why are you? Why are oh, you Oh, my God. Tell us what you're nervous about. Like, wh um, what emotions are you having? Like, will he like me? Oh, um, my goodness. You know, like, does he know I have a two-year-old? Just dating, it's been a while, you know? I'm nervous to be vulnerable again mm -hmm. with somebody else. I coach people through that, right. but now I'm feeling it. Y'all, I'm never nervous. No, no, it is okay, We got you, my love. we got it you, is okay. we got you. Are you amazing. We got you. So you. Yes. you know. It's I mean, easy to forget. I'm terrified. I can't even describe the hurt that I experienced in my last relationship. I can't even describe it. I don't want to go back there. When you think you know somebody and you love them and you trust them and they crush you like that, like, we believe in you. You know, we believe in you. We believe in you being a mom. We believe so in much. helping you find someone that's going to love your children. Do you need to see yourself happily ever after? I need to see myself happily ever after. My daughter needs to see me happily ever after. I think for everybody, I got to get it. I do believe that true love exists, and I want to experience it myself.